Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about the attack that objectivists are not free thinkers because we just basically regurgitate things that Ayn Rand said. Um, that's a really stupid attack. <laughs> but first of all, uh, just for a little bit of a question to my viewers, um, I'm thinking about potentially doing a live stream sometime. I think that could be very fun to do just to talk for a while to everybody and interact with the chat and stuff like that. I feel like that's something that would be very fun for me to do. Um, I've seen other YouTubers do it before, and I thought, hell yeah, that sounds lit. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what I'd do. Maybe I could just ha be playing some video game in the background or something. I don't know. But whatever I do, I'll do it. But I just, my only concern would be that there's not enough viewers right now. I would, I only have 100 subscribers. I usually only get like 30 views on a video. Uh, so iffy whether or not I'd actually <laughs> it's iffy whether or not I'd actually get enough subscribers or not subscribers enough live viewers but whatever that that is what it is now on to the main focus of this video is the which is the idea that objectivists are not free thinkers but comment below also comment below if you want to see you want me to do a live stream um I'm thinking about maybe doing one Monday we'll see um but yeah okay catch my train of thought again uh sorry i just was on the ddv podcast and a little scrambled mentally right now but it's okay uh i just remember this was kind of triggered after somebody in the comments in the in the uh live chat said something related to oh why would you guys all have the same uh view of morality like why would you have the same definition um aren't you guys free thinkers or that was that was the essence of what it was it was kind of an attack uh that's not true. I mean, we can't all, if we discover Rand as this incredible concept and something that we view to be true, and we accept our ideas word for word because of that, that doesn't make us not free thinkers. Uh, someone who's not a free thinker is someone who evades new evidence for new ideologies. But accepting an ideology on its own does not make you a non-free thinker. Regurgitating things that Rand says, as long as you understand them, your um does not prevent you from being a free thinker. So, yeah, you're you're I'm I'm a free thinker. Um, objectivists are generally pretty free thinkers because this is not something that society pushes on us. This is not a philosophy that most people advocate for. So we have to go out, do our own mental work, all on our own, to find this sort of stuff. Now, these other people who simply just take what, whatever the culture hands to them and choose one specific ideology from there, they're more of the uh, closed-minded, non-free-thinking people because they constantly evade all um, the reality, which is the uh, objectivist ideas, for whatever stupid idea gets pushed on them, whatever stupid ideas drift, they drift to. So, yeah. Objectivists are definitely free-thinkers. I mean, I know for damn sure I'm a fucking free-thinker. Uh... I am literally completely different on almost every single issue. Um, well, I was always a kind of freedom oriented. I'm done using I'm done using the word libertarian to describe my politics. Um, but I was I've always been freedom oriented politically. Um, but I was very religious, and I just would literally watch all the fucking videos from every side, every all over the spectrum because I was looking for truth, looking for answers, which is something that you do as a free thinker, like what I am. Um, but yeah, and then I stumbled upon objectivism through Rucka's interview with uh, Dave Rubin, or Dave Rubin's interview with Rucka. Kind of backward sloppy thinking. I'm not a very integrated person, am I? Fuck. No, I'm playing. Um, yeah, so... So yeah, um, and I found objectivism, and I learned the philosophy. Learning a philosophy does not make someone a closed-minded thinker. It means that you discovered something that you think is true, so you begin to learn and repeat that philosophy. Not everyone can be a super genius who can come up with crazy new truths. Um, that's not everyone can do that, and not because there's a, there's one truth. I mean, only one person's gonna find that, you know. Um, but whatever, whatever. That's that's a really stupid point. <laughs> Ignore that shit. Uh, um, but yeah, so not everybody has the time to do that. Not everybody's going to be a philosopher that goes down throughout history. I mean, that's not 
that's not in the purview of a lot of people's lives. I'm trying to go be an actuary and go do shit with math for the rest of my life and also do this shit on the side, this YouTube shit. Um, that's, I'm not, I'm not trying to come up with a whole new philosophy. Um, and I'm not super interested in like super detailed epistemological shit either. So, I mean, I would still consider myself a free thinker to, to that extent. So, uh, just because I engaged with reality and didn't evade and came up with my own ideas on things. So, yeah, uh, I think that's all I have to say for today. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. Peace.